What's going on guys? I am back with breakfast. That's an intermittent fasting joke. Did you get it? I'm done, I'm over. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I learned when doing intermittent fasting. So if you don't know what intermittent fasting is, um, I'll give you this short little example. So intermittent fasting is basically going a certain period of time without eating. So think of this, let's say you're working at a clothing store and you're constantly getting customers coming into the store and you're constantly helping them out and one after the other come in and you never really get a chance to do some of the other tasks that you you have to do in the store as you know as, a, as an employee of the store. Um, but let's say all of a sudden for four hours no customers come in and during that time it's less stressful. You're able to upregulate some of the other tasks that you're, 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 you're supposed to be doing like putting stock away, cleaning the store, counting your money. It's less stressful. It's a less stressful environment. And the same thing can be said when we're um, going through a fast. It can be beneficial in some, some cases because it gives our body a chance to upregulate some of the other, other processes that it doesn't really get to do when we're constantly eating. Some of the things that it helps with is it increases hormone activity, um, particularly human growth hormone. So human growth hormone, when increased, can um, increase fat oxidation, help you lose weight. Um, it can help you put some muscle on. It also gives the body a chance to get a break when it comes to digestion. Our digestive system is constantly working. So whenever we can give our, our digestive system a break, it's always gonna end up being beneficial for our bodies um, in the long run. Intermittent fasting also helps with cellular repair. So since it's not working hard to do some of the other things that it's, it has to do when we're constantly putting food in our body, it gives our body a chance to increase cellular repair. Um, and then the last thing that I would say that it helps with is insulin sensitivity. So since we're putting less food in our body, particularly carbohydrates, um, we're getting less sugar into our blood, which can help with insulin sensitivity. The only problem with intermittent fasting is when we're overdoing intermittent fasting. There's a certain place and time for intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting helped me out a lot at the start when I started it. Um, but after a while, as I, increases my, as I increased my workload in the gym, it started to have this counterproductive um, effect on me. As you know, as, as you work out, um, you're putting your body through stress. Add in the fact that you're not eating, sometimes it can wreak havoc on your body. Funny enough, I started to break out after a while and those were one of the things that I noticed when I was um, overdoing the intermittent fasting is when I started to break out because I was putting my body through all this increased stress when working out and I wasn't fueling my body the right way. Not only was it hurting my performance, but it was causing my body stress. So. I would say that that is the only time where intermittent fasting can work against you. Did it help me lose weight? Yeah, it definitely helped me lose weight. Because of the caloric restriction, because I'm eating less calories, because I'm going through a fast and not eating um, throughout the day, it caused me to lose weight because that essentially is gonna determine whether or not you lose weight or gain weight is calorie restriction. But as I went down the road and things progressed, I learned that there were certain things I needed to change, especially metabolically. I needed to increase my, my, my calorie intake. I needed to eat more proteins, fats, and carbs, and that helped me out a lot. So intermittent fasting definitely has its place and can help, but know when to stop and know if it's right for you and know, especially if you're maybe performing at a high level, know that it could potentially hurt your performance. So I will catch you guys on the next video. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if intermittent fasting was for you, if it wasn't for you, um, and I will catch you guys on the next video.